So today on the table, I've got an Asus laptop, a K501U. And this particular one has got a failed fan in it. So to begin with, what you're going to have to do is take out the various Phillips head screws that are located 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Once all 10 of those are removed, you should be able to use something like a bank card or a plastic pry tool, pry around the device and we should be able to separate it like so. Once you've done that, you're going to need to determine what fan you require. In this case, I've already got that. And then from there, you're going to have to disconnect the fan. I'm just pulling on the cord and pushing the block out. There we go. Line it out. And from there, one Phillips head screw, two, and three. So from here, hopefully. We're going to also have to remove the copper cooler that's there, this part, because the fan does have a slight little catch here and here, which looks to run underneath it and sit there. So one extra thing you will probably require for this job, if you want to go to that extent, is some, to replace the thermal paste it's on the graphics chip and the processor. It is, op is optional, but typically when machines get older or after a year or two, it's something that I would recommend doing. One, two. Now I should be able to just hopefully wiggle it just slightly. Go. Bingo. So to begin with from here, I'm going to give the processor a clean, graphics chip a clean, and then clean it off in the copper cooler as well. Not using anything overly special, just some tissues. And my favourite, isopropyl. Thing that may help with this is a toothbrush and also a plastic scraper. There we go, it's freed up most of there. Move over to the graphics chip as well. And let's do the outer perimeter. Now I should just be able to use a tissue, fold it up a few times. There you go. Looking pretty alright. Do the same over here. This one is a little bit more stubborn. And we'll do it for now. There's still a little, still a little bit left on there, but it's not overly going to hinder much at all. Now onward to the copper coolers. 
with that I'm not going to worry about using any isopropyl I'm just going to give it a wipe and see how it turns out not bad I've muted the other bit excellent done Now, I want to separate the old fan from the cooler. Not sure how it is attached at this point. There we go. Adhesive. One fan off. One new fan. Drop it in. By the looks of it, I'll run that across here just to seal up that air gap. Won't really matter too much. One fan spinning perfect. One fan with buggered bearings. Next up will be some replacement thermal paste, which I'm currently using Z5. Relatively cheap stuff, does the job just fine. Dub one here will do. Bit on the Intel graphics side of things and the process for itself I do find it funny with these um, single panel cover designs the trade off you get for durability is easy repairability I find that if I was to do this similar task on a computer from probably 10 years ago the task would be considerably more complex to be able to get in here and replace the thermal paste. Well, after 10 screws, followed by another, what's that, six, nine screws, I've been able to fully re put new thermal paste on this machine. So from here, it's time to re-screw everything back into place. Start off with the GPU. GPU side of things. Now the CPU. Make sure they are of relatively equal tension or torqueness. Or just torque. <laughs> now the fan. One thing to note as well, when you're putting down the copper uh, the, the CPU fan, make sure your video cable does run underneath it. Do want it to push down into that hinge just there, so it is out of the way of the plastic cover. And lastly, we want to plug this in. Should be able to plug that in like so. When in doubt, compare with the older one. Two barbs face down, pins face up. Go now you can see what I'm doing. Push, in we go. Done. And CPU fan replaced. Next up, attaching the back cover. 
screwing that back into position. And from there, just giving it a test run. Or you could also give it a test run while we're here. Open it up slightly, hit the power button. We have display on the screen. We get to get fan spin, but being it's ice cold, I don't see that really being too much of an issue right now. I'll give it a second just to boot up into Windows. Still no fan spin. It's still a very, oh, better say, still a very cool CPU. I'm just going to switch it off and proceed anyway. Now, I'll finish up testing it. The fan seems to be operating fine. So from here, it's time to seal it up. Back cover on. Push, 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 push. Click, click, click. Now do be warned, there is two different lengths of screws. And mine just went everywhere. There is this larger length, which I'll just bring up to the camera. My bad. Larger length, which go at the back. Small length, which go at the front. Medium. So from here, it's a matter of putting them all back in. Large screws in. Large screw in. More large screws. More large screws. Some mediums on the edges. Another medium. There we go, clicking into place. And then along the front are the four smaller ones. Finally, four. And that's one Asus K501U with a brand new fan installed. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye.